¿Qué tal amigas? Yo soy Rocío y esto es Risas Rizos en Español y aquí tengo a Lynn otra vez más. Antes su nombre era novio, pero ahora es mi esposo. Yo les prometí un video sobre qué es lo que está pasando en mi vida porque han habido muchos cambios en mi vida. Me casé, estoy embarazada y ahora estamos con esto del virus de corona. So, ahora que tenemos un poco más de tiempo, pensé que sería un perfecto momento de filmar este video con ustedes, o bueno, con él, para enseñarles a ustedes. Ya, yeah, tenemos muchas preguntas. Obviamente, Lance no habla español, so vamos a filmarlo en inglés y luego uh, voy a poner subtítulos, ¿ok? Ya. Yeah. Ok, ok, let's get started. <laughs> Miss Silo asks, how did you manage to have the majority of your wedding planned so quickly? So we actually got married on February 29th, but to backtrack, we got engaged on December 9th. We announced our pregnancy on like December 20 something. It was like the week, I think it was Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve is when we had announced the pregnancy, but we already knew we were expecting a baby. We found out in mid-October that I was pregnant. So that sort of, to kind of give you an idea, we were already in planning mode from that moment that we found out that we were having the baby. One of the questions that I've gotten from a lot of people, including my friends, was why get married or like, is the baby the reason why you're getting married? And I, I have my answer. I don't know if Lance wants to answer this question. Yeah, I was planning on proposing to Rocio like at the beginning of January. So I, I was already saving for the ring. I was already looking at rings. She didn't know about that, but uh, that was my plan. So when she told me she was pregnant, I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> right. So we were already going in that direction. It just had to be fat. It was fast track. We were working really hard last summer on our office. The office is finally done and we hosted our first family get together. We were watching the Saints game and our families took a tour of the house and they looked at the office and I think one of your aunts was like, where's the baby gonna go? Yeah. And we're like, oh, we are, there's no baby coming. Like we have plenty of time for that. And actually at that time, I was having these like emotional sprees where I would just cry for everything. And I just wasn't really feeling myself and I was tired all of the time. And his mother was actually the person who was like, are you pregnant? I was like, no, I'm not pregnant. Like my period's coming. So no, of course not, I'm not pregnant, I have cramps. And then I think curiosity sort of built up in my mind and a couple days later I took a test. It turned out I was very much so pregnant. So I had a, a minor panic attack when I told my sister first. Next person I told was Lance. He was really excited. So, so she asked me, she was like, can you stay home tonight? And she never asked me. She's always like, go to work, go to work, no matter what, go to work. Yeah. And then she asked me to stay home and I was like, okay, what's going on? And then she told me. <laughs> I came downstairs with the pregnant Tesla. <laughs> crying. <laughs> oh, I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm pregnant. So yeah, so that happened. I think the first person that we told after that was your mom and your mama. Mm -hmm. And then the next day we told um, told my parents, which yeah. was really fun. And then after that, we surprised the rest of his family. It just sort of snowballed into- yeah, everyone was super yeah. happy. The thing though was right after we told my parents, my mom was all excited. You can see how excited she was in the video. And then as soon as the video cut off, she goes, okay, we have to plan a wedding. We have to plan a wedding, a baby's coming. At the time, I knew I wanted to marry Lance, but with the circumstances, we didn't know how it was gonna happen. We didn't know if it was gonna be something small, if it was gonna be something large. I knew that I wanted to get married in the church, but at that time, there were all these other situations and circumstances that came to play that was like, okay, well maybe, that might have to be put on hold and we might have to do a courthouse wedding. Like we didn't know what it was gonna be like, but we definitely knew we wanted to get married. My parents were like, if you guys want to get married, we will help you pay for the wedding. The fact that I was pregnant, my mom was like, well, my mom and your mom were like, we're gonna do everything possible to ensure that the planning of your wedding happens without you freaking out and without you stressed out. That's sort of how the, the wedding planning started. Who we'll helped pick out the ring? So it was a team effort. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I like I haven't heard this story before, okay. Rocio was already looking at things because she knew we were in that in that direction. Right. Um, this is pre-pregnancy. Yeah, she even found that pregnancy. Pregnancy. she was looking at stuff and I was like, look, if I'm gonna spend that amount of money on a ring, I want 
you to really like it. I don't want to buy something that you're not going to like. She went to jewelry store and she started like picking out the style and then I kind of sneaked at her Pinterest board and found the rings that she liked. You got on my Pinterest board? <laughs> really? <laughs> so she, uh, paying attention. she went to a couple places and she was like, I'm not saying I want a ring, but if you want to go look at a ring, this is they know what I want yeah. and they can help you. Ramsey's in New Orleans. Ramsey's yeah. Diamond Jewelers. So went over there, they were great. They helped me through the whole process. We ended up picking out a diamond, we picked out the band. I love the oval look. I'm not really big on like chunky yeah. jewelry. Y'all know me, I don't really wear a lot of jewelry or accessories and stuff. I'm, I'm very dainty when it comes to that kind of stuff. So just a simple solitaire oval mm -hmm. ring. And I love it. I thought it was Oh, pretty. We did a good job, you guys. Okay, Joanne716 says, did Lance ask your dad's permission for your hand in marriage? Yes, I did. We threw Rocio's surprise birthday party. Uh -huh. uh, me and her family, her, me and my mom actually got it together and planned it. Well, I you and your mom? There. No, your mom. Oh, my mom. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, it's very nice of your mom. <laughs> my mom helped me plan it and got everybody over there. And so while I had everyone there, I went and had asked her dad in the side room, in private. Which I had a feeling was that was happening. Yeah. Because he was just spending way too <laughs> much time with my dad in the pantry. So I asked her dad, and of course he said yes. So even at the surprise party, I was like, is it is it gonna happen? Because all of a sudden, I had some of my best friends yeah. show up at my cousin's house. <laughs> And I was like, I even texted Jamie. I texted my sister, I was like, is, is it happening today? Is it happening? And even my sister was like, I honestly have no idea. I asked her, I was like, is this a good time to propose to her? Mm -hmm. And her sister was like, no, don't do it at that time. Don't do it on her birthday. She's not gonna like that. So Yeah, which makes me so mad. It makes me so <laughs> mad because I, okay, so before I met Lance, I had a rule when it came to engagement. It was a little bit of a selfish rule. I'm the type of person, or I was the type of person that when it comes to my days, whether it's a birthday, a celebration of sorts, whether a graduation, a promotion, or anything like that, I want it to be about me. I want to celebrate me, and I don't want my man to take away my shine. So I told my sister and my cousins that, I said, if I'm ever in a serious relationship and engagement's coming, you let him know. Well, when I met Lance, all that went out the window. And I told them, I told them, I said, if Lance ever wants to propose, I don't care when it is. I don't care if I'm promoted. I don't care if it's my birthday, he can ask. So the fact that she told you, <sighs> Vanessa said, did Lance go get the ring that day that he spent two hours getting coffee? <laughs> That day that he went to go get coffee for like two hours when Starbucks is literally right down the street and he came home all suspicious. So where were you? Huh? Where were you? God, I went to go get some coffee. Where? In freaking Colombia? No. I don't know. I got lost. Um, <laughs> I went to the ring. Yeah, a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all caught on too. Okay, Rocio has a, is a spot in New Orleans that she said when she was younger she used to go in meditate, escape, write her journal and things like that. And she told me that like when we first met. And it was under the bridges, the what's the actual the, name? the Crescent City. Crescent City Connection. Connection Bridges. I waited till the last minute because her family does not like to keep secrets. So and <laughs> no, her brother was like, do not tell her mom, do not tell her sister, because she will somehow find out. And I was like, Janie, I just wanna get ready, go to the underneath the bridges, go get the camera, like have everything ready, be there before we get there. So I told Rocio we were going to Roosevelt to go see the lights, mm -hmm. to go get dressed. Um, so she didn't know that we were going there. Right. She knew so, we were going to go see the lights. Right. So in my mind, I was like, okay, I'm pretty sure it's going to happen tonight. I just didn't know how. I put her in a car, and then I told her to blindfold herself. So she blindfolded herself. I put on you know, some sappy romantic, romantic music. music. And I was like, oh, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> so I was driving, and I looked over, and she's like, I'm crying. See, see, I'm crying because I know. Because the songs that he was playing, it's like I knew it was happening. But then I got a little confused because in my mind, he said we were going to the Roosevelt. So I thought, in my mind, I'm like, okay, we have to get on the on the interstate. So he has to accelerate at some point. Got to go 60, 70 miles an hour. Have to make this turn, this exit. And then I'm like, wait a second. Why are we making a sharp right turn? Yeah. Why are we making a left turn? Where are we going? And that's when I started to like, I was like, oh my God. Okay, maybe maybe I'm not getting proposed to tonight. <laughs> maybe we're going somewhere else. So what are we doing? Yeah. Uh -huh. So we got there, and her mom and dad were already there. I took her out. 
by hand mm -hmm. and opened a door for her and she was still blindfolded the whole entire time. Uh huh. But she's bawling crying. I'm, I'm crying even more because I can hear. Her, I can feel her hand shaking. I can hear where we are. So I, I burn her out and have like a big circle, like a, a roundabout right underneath it, it like a big grass area. So I brought her to the middle, unblindfolded her, and then told her I love her, and then got down on one knee uh -huh. and proposed to her. And she was like bawling and crying. And I don't even know if she said yes right away or not because she just still kind of like <laughs> process everything. And I said, will you marry me? And she goes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Finally, I put the ring on her. Uh -huh. She looked up and looked around. Her mom and my and parents dad were right there, there recording. I'm <laughs> crying even more. Yeah, well, was, but yeah, because they yeah. told me that they were gonna go bring food to my brother, bring dinner to my brother's. I, yeah. I was not expecting Wish that at all. We had that plan. Too. Yeah, that was part of the plan. So the proposal it happened. It, oh my god, it was so perfect. It's like a hundred times better than I than anything I could have ever imagined. Before and after the proposal happened, I feel like I asked him a million times, like, are you sure you, you want to do this? Like, are you sure you want to get married? Like, I know I'm pregnant, but I didn't want that to be the reason why we were getting married. I wanted the reason why we would get married because we loved each other and because we wanted to make that commitment forever. It wasn't a thing of like, we're having a baby, so we have to get married. We didn't want to feel obligated to get married you wanted this to be a thing of choice so yeah so that happened the way that it did so by the time we made our announcement i was already safely into my second trimester the first trimester her seal was nauseous every single day she didn't like actually like throw, throw up, up but she felt nauseous every single day like every morning she woke up every night before bed so that was a little difficult yeah i didn't start feeling better until yeah. new, the week of new year's yeah. oh it sucked. It sucked a lot. To be 100% honest, you guys, that first trimester was miserable for me. And I don't want to sugarcoat it. I don't want to say, oh my God, it was the happiest time of my life. Like, I was so excited. Like, I was excited. I was very grateful. But the nausea, I would not wish that on my worst enemy. It was bad. I feel for Lance because <laughs> I don't think that he expected it to be like this. So I, I kept trying to tell her while she was sick that we're blessed. Don't take it for granted. I know she doesn't feel good right now, but at the same time, people try for years and they, they're not successful. We kept reading things online and talking to her doctor and they said it was gonna pass and the second trimester she was gonna feel better. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know, at the time it's just, we just had to work through it together as a team and realize how blessed we are, even though that she was nauseous every day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm currently six months pregnant. You wanna see my bump? You wanna see the bump? <laughs> Here it is. Okay, so this is my six month bump. Baby moves a whole lot. We know the gender. We found out the gender at the wedding and we have a name. Do you want to give the name out or do you want to wait? We can give the name out. We can? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've been wanting a girl. Like, I've always pictured. Right? No. Oh, okay. I'm not <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I told Rocio she wanted a boy. Yeah. And I told her. I've like, always wanted a boy. I gave my mom hell growing up, <laughs> so I just pictured that. So when I found out, I was super excited. I think I yelled and cried at the wedding. Yes. Hello. <laughs> we had like 10 names picked out either way, like for a boy or a girl. And one day driving back from New Orleans, I think we were like, let's we narrow it down. We narrow it down. Because yeah. we were telling our family we had like 10 names mm -hmm. and they were like, why do you have so many Why names picked so many? out? <laughs> so the name is. The name is. You can say it together. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. three. Penelope Rain Garza. Garza. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yes! I feel so liberated. I can say her name. So Penelope came from Rocio. Yes. Penelope, for some reason, has always been like my number one choice for my future daughter's name and then where did rain come from i've always wanted rain for a girl's name uh don't know why uh, i just like how it comes out of rain. rain my cousin actually pointed out the other day it reminded her of my name because my name is rocio and in spanish rocio is morning dew like rain in the morning so I thought that was pretty cool yeah. so now when you're praying for our baby you can pray for her by name yeah 
Waves CGVB asks, how has the transition from boyfriend and girlfriend to hubby and wifey been for the both of you? Easy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty easy. I mean, we were already living together. Yeah. We were already like planning to be husband and wife. Yeah. I told Rosio when I first met her that I was going to marry her. And <laughs> Are you crying? That I wanted to have kids with her, that she was the one for me, she's mother half, and I couldn't dream of anyone better to spend the rest of my life with. So, it was easy. Oh. I had no problems. Oh. My only adjustment is no. 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 <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, I think, I think it's been easy for me too. I feel like nothing has really changed other than we just call each other husband and wife. Yeah. I've been a Mora my whole life. It's just been an interesting transition, I would say, is the changing of the last name. I feel like I was kind of going like going through the motions of like, oh my God, I, I'm gonna change my last name. This is gonna be forever. But the thing is that like, I already knew going into this and, and meeting Lance that I wanted to have his last name. Like I already knew, okay, I'm gonna be Mrs. Garza. But it's not until it happens and you're there and you're looking up like all the things you need to do to change your last name and then realizing and remembering that it is forever. That's when it starts to hit me and like, I guess like play with my mind a little bit. And I've asked a lot of you guys and it's, it's a good majority of you were like, yes, sister, I went through the same thing. Some of you cried the day that you changed your last name. I'm pretty sure I'll probably do the same. And watch when Penelope gets married, she's not gonna be a Cars anymore either. How's that gonna feel? She can hyphenate it. Oh, she can hyphenate it, <laughs> but I can't hyphenate it. I'm due on July 1st, so there are a lot of concerns with that. You know, pre-baby, where there are already the fears and concerns of, you know, what's gonna happen, coronavirus. COVID-19. Hopefully all this dies down when delivery comes. Hopefully baby, you calm down and just chill in there. Just keep cooking. The baby shower, hopefully we can have one. We might have a virtual baby shower. So if we do, we 100% uh, invite you guys to come to our virtual baby shower. Yeah, I think that's, that's a good majority of the questions as far as like our life update. If you're interested in hearing about what happened at our wedding, Stay tuned, we have that video coming up for you guys. Bueno, ya llegamos al final del video. Si les gustaron este video, por favor, dale y arriba. Y no sé, hey, you did it right this time. Y no se les olviden de, su, de suscribir si no lo han hecho todavía. Solo tienen que apretar al botón rojo que dice subscribe. Y después de apretar al botón rojo, tienen que apretar a la campana. Porque la campana es lo que te va a dar las notificaciones cada vez que yo subo un video nuevo aquí en YouTube. Y déjanos saber en un comentario abajo si tienen, um, how do you say advice in Spanish? Uh, yeah. <laughs> asesoramiento para padres. Si tienen asesoramiento para padres. Or asesoramiento recién casado. Si lo dije mal, entonces por favor corrígeme allá abajo en un comentario. No se les olviden que me pueden seguir por Instagram, arroba Lisa Rizos. Allá en mis historias siempre subo videos de cosas que está pasando en la casa, sobre el embarazo. So allá me pueden seguir por Instagram. También le pueden dar un saludito a Lance por Instagram. Y eso es todo. Las quiero muchísimo. Un besito. Y nos vemos en el próximo video. Bye. I feel like I'm sweating. Are you crying? Come back. Uh... Oh, don't <laughs> Blow your kiss. I'm, I'm don't, a guy, you I'm can a, still do it. Huh? <laughs> Panic attack moments of just Lexi. <laughs> Chill <laughs> out. Do I look like I've been crying? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tool is like right here. <laughs> she wants to be in the shot too. Tienen, um, how do you say advice in Spanish? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>